lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is Tia aka teacup simmer and this is our Q&A video Woo! and I told you guys um, probably like a week or two ago that I was going to do a Q&A video because we reached 1,000 subscribers which I'm still kind of reeling about um, but we reached 1,000 subscribers and I told you guys I would do a Q&A and so I got a bunch of people who sent me um, who sent me questions and so I was going to answer your guys' questions about me and the channel and basically like my like personal like feelings as a YouTuber and I got some really great questions from some people on Sims Amino and from some of my favorite um, simmers on YouTube and on Twitter so thank you guys so much if you guys send in questions I really appreciate it I I'll always feel weird doing like answering questions about myself but I love all you guys so much and I also want to thank everyone who has subscribed currently and thank you guys so much for supporting me and if you are new to my channel hi welcome lovely my name is Tia aka Teacup Simmer I do videos on YouTube where I make stories using the Sims and potentially other games where we try and make up little worlds for ourselves to kind of play in and kind of relax and just enjoy ourselves so welcome um i also do create a sims speed builds and i don't know the occasional vlog like this <laughs> so if you enjoy my channel please feel free to subscribe um but for the first um thing that i want to start off with my first basic questions this is from not so tumblr simmer on um sims amino thank you so much lovely for sending in this question it's more it's not even just one question it's like multiple questions so the first question is what inspired you to start youtube and so what inspired me to start youtube was actually it was more of like i have these weird like really detailed whims so i will like focus on something like if something piques my interest i will focus on it until I'm no longer interested in it. So I was just randomly thinking about, um, I think it was when the last season of um, Game of Thrones is out and I was just kind of like watching it and then I went online and I've always played The Sims, like I've always had Sims 4, Sims 3 and Sims 4, not always, but I had Sims 3 when it came out um, a while ago after it had a few expansion packs and then I got Sims 4 um, when it came out, I think after it was not as expensive as it used to be. Um, but so I was started looking around challenges because I thought challenges were starting to be really cool and I looked at one of the challenges which is called the kingdom challenge where you have like different kingdoms as are all the different worlds in the sims 4 and I thought it sounded really interesting and it kind of meshed in my head with the um game of thrones challenge that i saw on the sims forums at the same time and i was also i was just kind of like oh my gosh i could put these together that's mostly that's usually what i do like i have i come up with ideas based on what i see so i was like oh this would be really cool together and so i meshed it together and so if you guys see all the way back a long long time ago in early may you guys will see some videos from when i started posting um, episodes of my Game of Thrones Kingdom Challenge, which is the was the inspiration for that. And so that kind of pushed me to do YouTube just because I really thought it would be a really cool story to do. And I'm still d debating on going back and like revamping that series just because we've learned so much and I've gotten so much better at recording <laughs> and my equipment is so much better and I know what to do and I have more of a, I'm more comfortable with the camera now and with my voice recording isn't as crappy so maybe we'll revisit that series if you guys are interested in that please let me know down in the comments because it was a really fun thing to put together like I put a ton of work into those worlds and the families and stuff like that I just haven't gotten back to it just because at the time it wasn't getting too many views and now it's actually gotten a lot it's actually one of the second the second highest views one on my channel except for um the Sims 3 Warrior Catch Challenge, but I digress. Um, but I also was inspired to, to start YouTube because of Kawaii Simmer. I actually really liked watching her channel a lot, and she did the 100 Baby Challenge, and I thought it would be really cool to do it, and she was just really interesting. I'm not sure, like, why. Like, there are so many, there are so many YouTubers on, um, that do simming and all that other fun stuff on YouTube, and, everybody has like their own little quirks that make you like them a little bit more um but there's there's there, there were there isn't that much difference between everyone in the sense that we all do the same thing we all like 
make videos about a video game so you those little quirks those little changes the way someone talks or the like little catchphrases that they say all the time or they whether or not they sound a lot like you seems to like draw me more than anything else um but i really liked her challenge her channel so i kind of got interested in youtube from watching a lot of her videos um watching a lot of life simmers videos and just kind of be like oh that looks cool maybe I could do that and I was also really bored because college was pretty much over so I wanted to try something new um oh well I spent a long time on that question um her next question was what is who's my favorite youtuber oh my god I <laughs> this is such a hard question because I I like so many people's channels like I love um Soph Sims builds like I think her builds are great um and Thomas TV he has really great builds and like his challenges are really like his let's plays are really involved and Urban Simmer is or no Urban Sims so Jen everybody knows Jen Jen is really funny I like listening to her and then um Lil Simsy always makes me smile. I don't know why. Kayla, you are adorable. I know you have a lot of things going on, but you're adorable and amazing. I just want to let you know that. Um, even I don't even I don't even think she watches this. I, don't, I doubt she'll watch this, but still, like I think she's super cute, and I think she worries way too much. But I, I and but I completely understand. Um, but I have so many, and then I watch a lot of news and like regular gaming channels. Like I lo I watch some of the conflict nerd channels that they do like random they each one does like different random games but i watch a lot of those i watch a lot of news on channels um so i'm kind of boring i'm old so i like i like watching um what's ooh non-simmer channels the she has for non-sim and sim so what are my other ones um cracked is always so also good c-r-a-c-k-e-d it's more of like it's not really a youtuber but they're like a channel and their channel is so funny and i'm a, i'm an editing writing and media major so i focus on like publishing literature and like analyzing like creativity and like the creative works so art and books and tv shows and movies i love analyzing stuff like that and that's what they do on that channel and it's so fun um let's see her next question was where did you get your account name from and if you would change it what to um I also did I also answered this question and early in my YouTube career um it was for a um a sim a create a sim of like a of like a t-sim that I did I'll leave a link in the card on the video but pretty much I <laughs> picked this name just because it seemed like the closest to my name without being really obvious and like I'm you guys realize I'm super lazy I'm bad I procrastinate and I'm super lazy so I was just like Tia 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 teacup okay and then I like tea like I really like tea like I have my boyfriend made like a custom rack of teas for me and I like and I can't use it now because I'm not in my own place but I, you know, again, I can put like teas in it and I have like a like a tea boiler that I and I like drinking tea in the morning It's just so nice if I actually started doing like actual like live streams I would totally just have tea sitting here sipping my tea while I talk to you guys over the live stream. I No, no lie. That is probably what would happen But that's pretty much why I picked my name and I wouldn't really change it The only thing that I wish would have happened is that I picked it sooner because there's someone else named teacup simmer on tumblr and I had to add in like some weird like I don't know it was like a weird symbol I had to add to my name so that we would be so that it would be a different username on tumblr and that was just super annoying to me so if that other person like can just like change their name that would be great just because like now it just feels weird because every time I try and search for my tumblr online it's it it get mixed up between the two um next questions are from let's see next question is from i lamau or i think it's i think she changed her name yeah i lamau or i lmao okay i'm i'm stupid for b i'm i'm really ridiculous for pronouncing that weird so they their question is will you consider doing the amazon challenge and i have actually um i also on if you guys check out my website i have a simlet that i have on my channel on my website that is kind of like an extension of the amazon challenge mixed with like the build new crest challenge it's like a weird 
mix of it and I do it with witches. It's really cool, but I, I don't always have the time to write. So I've only gotten through a few chapters, but I really like that, um, the way of meshing it together. But I always wanted to try the Amazon challenge. My only issue is I have like a very strong aversion to including slavery in, in a Sims in a game, like even in a story, like I don't, I, I mean, like, it, I know it's a game, like, I get it, but I've never been one for, like, really, like, wantonly, like, killing off Sims. Like, I've never been, I've never been the type of, like, Simmer to do that. Um, and especially if it's, like, not necessary or, like, unrealistic reasons. And I've never been into, like, I've never been, like, interested in, like, societies that include slavery. Like, if there are reasons for it, then kind of, like, I'll read stories about it. But for a challenge, I don't know, it just felt kind of weird. And I'm, and I'm still, I'm very much a, like, men and women are equal. Yay. Like, <laughs> so it feels weird to me to do that challenge with those rules included. So if I did the challenge, it would be, um like an, an edited version that was more of like a matriarchy instead of a um, women are rulers and the guys are like always slaves and they have to die type thing. Um, it, like I said, it just feels weird to me. So that's what, what I'd end up doing. I just do like a matriarchy type idea where the women t are in like positions of power and the men can kind of like support or help or they have their own roles and that one makes more sense to me if you guys have ever read the um house of night series kind of like that like there it's a matriarchal society but like the vampires have a matriarchal society um but they have like their own like consorts and like warriors and yada 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 so like there are extra roles and the guys aren't necessarily like subjugated which is what i would prefer um but oh yeah shout out to everybody who loves house of night yay all of my bookwormy lovelies Ugh, i love that series so much i read it so i read it like all the way through in high school and then they still waited really long time to put out new new books so I, I think I missed the last two books maybe and so the next question is from my friend Thomas TV he and his question is who inspires you to make videos and I oh this is this is like it's not really hard but it, it's like I it's not necessarily that someone inspires me I think I get, I get moderately like competitive and jealous which is hard to it's not necessarily hard for me to admit but like I want to do really well like I like doing things well and so when I see someone put something out and I'm like oh my gosh this looks so cool what like how can I do that how can I make something similar how can I make something that would appeal to the people who watch my channel which I guess doesn't make me competitive or jealous in any way um but I don't know I'm also like really driven by other people's like success like I think everyone is great at doing their own thing and so being able to see how people succeed and seeing how they appeal to their audiences is really it's I guess is really inspiring to me just because I see how they do that I see why people are drawn to their channels or drawn to them as a person and it makes me want to either be more open with my channel or try and connect with you guys more so that we can get to the place where you guys feel like you can talk to me or um we can have like open communication or that I make things that you guys are going to like. So I hope that we get to a place where you guys feel like I know a lot of my Sims 3 Warrior Cats lovelies are super open with me, which I absolutely love. You guys are like my like you guys are my heart. Like I love you guys to death just because you guys spend so much time. And I know that I'm trying to remember Um, there's a, there's a commenter on my sims 3 warrior cats who always puts really really super long comments and i love it like i love being able to like get feedback from people like i like i'm super driven by people giving me like some form of criticism or feedback or like 
reaction to what I'm doing because it means that I'm trying to figure out how what I'm doing appeals to you guys or doesn't appeal to you guys and even if like you guys like hate something then I can figure out okay even if you guys don't like it do I still want to do it and am I okay with you guys not liking it it just it makes me feel better to be able to like communicate and be able to talk to you guys so definitely leave comments please and thank you um but yeah that's kind of what inspires me to make videos is whenever I get reactions from you guys it really like pushes me to either create more stuff that you guys will enjoy or create stuff that is similar in, in, in one way but will allow me to still be creative and do things that I like um, and let's see the last question is from scarlet shadow and scarlet shadow asks which sims game do you love the most sims 3 or sims 4 and to be honest like i am super torn about this like people have asked me about this and we've had conversations on twitter if you guys haven't followed me on twitter definitely follow me on twitter because i'm on there at least three to four times a day for really long bouts of time where i'll just like ask questions and comment on comment on things and post pictures of commissions and all this other fun stuff so it's a really great way to communicate with me but we've had conversations on twitter about what we like about sims 3 versus sims 4 and the stuff packs and things like that and i really like all of the content in sims 3 like even if some of the content needed like revamping like i love the vampires in sims 4 versus the vampires in sims 3 but sims 3 had stuff that was vampires werewolves fairies <laughs> like all of that extra stuff so there was so much content and so much there in sims 3 and a lot of like plants and build build items and like even just the basic thing of like having washers and dryers or was just really cool to me and even though like but the problem for me is i started really playing like really really playing sims 4 so i got really into the creative sim in sims 4 and like the way everything looks in sims 4 so i love the aesthetic of sims 4 but i love the content in sims 3 so <laughs> i have to say like right now i like sims 4 better in the sense that it's easier to run and I can do so much more with my sims in the sense of like what they look like and like customizability and the way that their houses look and stuff like that. Like I can do a lot with Sims 4 which I like but if sim if they ever did some of the same things like included pets or included some more supernaturals in Sims 4 um, it wouldn't be more it wouldn't be so close like it's really close right now like sims 4 is just a little bit over sims 3 but sims 3 is really good with all the things that it includes and it's a really fleshed out game and if you guys watch a lot of reviews of um the games which is what i do a lot of the time you see that that's basically what people's criticism of sims 4 is that, that sims 3 was a really fleshed out game that even though it took i think it's been about it they take about four years four years between game releases i'm pretty sure four years four to three three to four years something like that and eh, don't quote me um but even though that even though that's what it was we had so much content and so having that much content and then going to Sims 4, which even though if you look at the original reason why they started with Sims 4 is they were trying to revamp the Matrix. They were trying to start from scratch with Sims 4, which I don't think we everybody thinks about a lot, but Sims 4 was pretty was good for what they were trying to do, which was start over and start from like the basics and see what they could put put together, which I can appreciate. Um but it's 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 different from going from a really fleshed out game that's like a culmination of years upon years of like prequels and of di different games that kind of make it into the sims 3 and then you get to sims 4 when they're trying to basically scrap everything and start over it kind of I, I think it kind of like threw people for a loop and then now we're like waiting for some really big pieces to put put together like they tossed toddlers at us which we were all just kind of like what oh my gosh update and it was free which was great like I'm, i appreciate that it was free but like the things that people are asking for are 
haven't shown up yet so I think that's there's a big factor in the sense that I really 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 want seasons and I want things to feel like they're progressing in Sims 4 which is the only reason I think it, it I'm not as connected to it as I would as I am in my sim in my Sims 3 games when I play Sims 3 like my Sims 3 warrior cats I am super invested because there are so many well that's because we write a really huge story for it but that's because there are so many like nuts and bolts and things happening and seasons change and people die and like it feels different than sims 4 where it's like perpetual summer but i know that i like extrapolated on all that for a really long time um <laughs> Well, I think that's the end of our question to you guys. If Thank you so much for listening to me ramble for the past like 20 minutes. Um, I am super tired. <laughs> it's like the end. It's like late and I'm still having to record like a bunch of other things. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this q and I really appreciate everyone who has helped me get to a thousand subscribers. And we're just going to keep going and growing. And we're going to keep gr making stories that everybody can enjoy and love and if you guys have any suggestions for the channel if you guys have let's plays that you want me to do um create a sims or just questions or concerns or you want to just chat with me leave them down in the comments below and i will definitely try and talk to you i at least try and comment on as many things as i can a lot of the time if I have the time I'll just go back and comment on things from like months at a time so if you guys have any questions comments concerns smart remarks please leave them down in the comments below and if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and I will see you guys next time bye